All right, this video is going to be how to make an artist, what do you call it, <laughs> artist photos or artist um, banners to use for promoting things on Facebook So um, and putting in the feed for any kind of show, for Hump Day Happy Hour, or Strings on Grass, whatever. So it's a really quick and dirty way to do it. And first thing you want to do is have PicMonkey open like this, and you want to open up a 1200 by 1200 size. I'll show you how to do that real quick. If you don't know how to do that, you go under Design, go over to Custom, put 1200 by 1200. You go, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Make it. Then we're going to go out and find some photos. In this case, we're doing Lisa Tingle. And we want to make it as beautiful and simple as possible. So we're going to look for photos that are really engaging, that draw people's attention. So I put Lisa Tingle in. You see down here it says Images for Lisa. This is a really nice one right here. I like, I could use this one. We're going to, it's got stuff on the right already. See, she's already done something like that, which I really like. So, um, but what I could do is I could actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a photo that's ready to go. Okay, so we click on images, and we want to look for things uh, that are medium-sized, at least. So I go to medium, and let's see. Let's look at something that's real, act yeah, like this one right here. All right. Uh, something with strings attached would be really awesome. So you could always put in, in quotes, strings attached. Let's see if that brings up anything. Here she is playing with us back in the summer. All right. Wow, what's that photo? Huh. Okay. Looking, looking for something that's engaging. That one looks kind of low on quality. Sometimes it's easier to find people, <laughs> I have to admit. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I know there was one that we did that was really nice, but it's not coming up. Where we did the police show. Wow, lots of other people coming up. Let's just go to her website. How about that? Lisatingle.com. All right, go to gallery. That's a nice one there. I like that. Let's use. Let's just. Let's just download a bunch to the um, Dropbox folder I've designated for Hump Day Happy Hour. I'm trying to right click on this and it's not working. What if I click this? Okay, good. Right click on that, save image. Now we're going to drop it, put it into the Dropbox folder for Hump Day Happy Hour. So we go Dropbox, then we go down here and we were looking for Hump Day right in here. Double click on that. And we're looking for Lisa Tingle. Awesome. Let's make a folder in there that says images. Just come back to that and drop a bunch of photos that we can use. So we're going to close out of that. This is nice. So I'm going to just do this. Images. So, you know, you want to put in maybe four to eight photos. At least eight, I would say. If you can get four to eight really nice, good photos, go do that. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to open up photo. Actually, I'm sorry, you're going to go to PicMonkey. You're going to click on this little overlay button on the left. Click on your own. And then go to the folder. Just like this. Lisa Tingle. Images. Open it up. Take, grab a little corner here. And I'm going to put a background on it. So I'm going to go to this thing on the left here, a little texture deal. Pick something that's dark. And I like the boards, so I'm going to click this one. I'm going to make this fade all the way to the left. It's really dark, so we have a lot of contrast. I'm going to apply it. 
and then I'm going to make it large. Oh, excuse me, I'm a sneeze here. All right, so I could, what I generally like to do is put, make it big, and put the text in the, uh, on the top and the bottom, but the, this one we could actually it's not really fitting that well so I'm going to bring it down like this and I might decide to crop it let's see what the cropping cropping options I have here okay good yeah I'm going to crop it later what I'm going to do is I've got this so I can I can now add text, add text to the top. Make sure I pick a nice font that looks good, like this Geo Sans. I'm gonna put Lisa Tingle. Spell her name correctly. I'm gonna change, select it all. I'm gonna change the font to be just a little off yellow. And maybe like that. I'm going to make it a little bigger so that it's, there we go. And there's lots of different ways you can do this, but again, chose a nice font. Okay, now at the bottom, I'm going to put down, um, put down the date, which is, I'll put down hump a happy hour. I could also put tellers on two seventeen with strings attached. Change the color, bring it on down. Here. Now, if I want to make it fit that, let's notice the color didn't change. Okay, there we go. Now, I could do this. I can make it a lot smaller so there's not so much text. I take a grab a little corner, make it fit like that. I like that. Maybe a little less. I can also go over here to the right and do the font if I want to do it that way. Okay, so that way the focus is on the photo and not the text. People really want to know, they can look down at the bottom. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go back to crop it. This kind of looks nice, but I want to go ahead and crop it and take a lot of that black space out. Okay, make it more like, like this. Awesome. And this bottom part needs to come down a little bit. Looks good. I'm going to go apply. Like it. Yeah, I can too. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it final. Tingle 1 final. Save it to the Dropbox images. So all the final ones are ready to go. Just like that. Boom. Now let's try, let me see if I can do another one. And you want to vary the thing at the bottom, the line at the bottom, to have different text, not have the same text every time, okay? So let's do another one. Hmm. Okay, so I saved it to here. It was, it was having trouble. So I'm going to move it. You don't want to use an incognito window with PicMonkey, by the way. So I'm going to the Dropbox folder, hump day. Going to, okay, hump day, right, Lisa Tingle. Let's drag that right over here into images. 
Whoops, didn't go in there. Images. Awesome. Now that's ready to be put into <laughs> Hootsuite. It's all ready to go. All right, I'm going to get out of this incognito because it doesn't work well. I need to have a regular page open. I'll do one more. So design is going to be 1200 by 1200. I'm going to again go to here to the overlay, which is the butterfly image. Hmm. Here's another one of Lisa Tinkle I could use. Let's put a background in there. Go to this little texture thing here on the left. Let's try... Let's try Weave. I always like picking really dark backgrounds so that the text has good contrast. And then I make it as dark as possible, like that. That's just a general rule that I follow. Okay, then I'm going to go apply that. I'm going to go back to the photo. Make it as big as possible, okay? It's a very key thing to do. And I'm kind of using that backdrop as a frame. So I'm going to do this. So I have stuff, with, I have uh, a little bit at the top for some, some text. And then I'm going to add text again. Pick a nice font like Geo Sans Light. Lisa Tingle with, I could just put W with strings attached. Make a nice, make it bigger so that it goes across the whole page there. If it looks good, that's always, we want to, let's look at it. The thing I'm worried about is this photo looks a little pixelated, so I wouldn't actually use it. If I were you, but I'm going to just use it now to finish showing you a different layout. Okay, so you see I line that up, and then I'm going to copy this and add text to the bottom. Change it to day happy hour February seventeenth. Make it one line. Make it one line all the way across. Make it fit. Make it small. Be a little smaller that so there's not so much text that we're looking at all the time. Here's another way you can do it too by the way. You can put it on the right like that. I can make this text smaller and make it on the left. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's another style that I think is fun to do. Okay. See that? And now I'm going to actually crop it so we don't have all this space at the bottom. Again, I wouldn't use this photo and I would not save it because this pixelated stuff makes it look kind of not that professional. Lacks professionalism. And then apply that. And I might adjust the text here a little bit. Skin so looks professional. All right, then I would save it. Lease. So I'll say tingle to final. Again, I wouldn't use this one because why? The picture isn't that great. It's pixelated. It's a low quality picture. All right. There's the tutorial on how to use artist photos to make little banners to put up on Facebook. All right.